okay um, so I've got some lumps of uh, majority of it is clay here um, it's still got some debris uh, some roots and stones and a bit of soil in there but majority of it is clay um, so what I'm going to do is uh, try it's dried now um, but if it's wet um, try to uh, chop it up to little bits little bits are better uh, preferably if it's dry it's even better easier to do so I'm just going to chop these up into little bits using a spade and then uh, put in a bucket of water and the idea is that all the heavy stones and soil uh, will go down to the bottom while the, so so the clay will suspend in the water and stay at the top um, then um, I feel I'd uh, sieve the water that comes up the top to uh, get rid of the um, the uh, organic substance such as the little roots um, and then um, so that would be uh, near enough clay in there and then we would make um, then we'd try to get rid of the excess water uh, and let the clay settle uh, I'll describe that next on okay so all I've done is just smashed it down with a, a, um, a shovel just to get it broken down a bit um, it doesn't have to be perfect that's the whole idea of uh, using the water extraction method instead of uh, because the clay is so fine what people do is grind this down and then keep sieving it to get the smaller particles which you're, you're left with is the clay um, quite lucky to have some dry stuff here but if it was wet you're looking to get it into chunks at least this size um, it's easier um, for it, the water to absorb and break it up once it's in the bucket um, so, and yeah, it just crumbles like that now so um, yeah um, so next it's to uh, soak it in some water um, get your hands or a stick and uh, mix it in Okay, so I've, what I've done is just place that thing in there, starting to rain, and just going to fill it out with water right to the top. Alright, so now I'm going to let that settle for a couple of hours, so all the big bits definitely fall down to the bottom. Uh, still going to put our natural stuff at the top but we can uh, get rid of that through uh, putting it through a sieve uh, so yeah I'll come back in a couple of hours ok so I've let that settle now um, I've still got loads of crap on the top uh, there should be uh, most of it is clay and sediment and right at the bottom you've got your rocks and other bits so what I'm going to do is I'll set up a uh, filter into the rocks and just going to pour it through the so uh, yeah now I've done that I've missed some bits in there but that can go the second bit uh, in there I'll yeah, see most of the uh, the clay but I'll fill it up again with water and mix it around and keep doing that sort of diluting it down and then I'll have a couple of buckets um, so in there I'll just tap that out quite a lot of stuff and still a little bit in there but I can fill that out again okay I've got four pots here that have been <coughs> um, have been filtered through from the top so it's just a pure um, hopefully a pure uh, um, clay suspended in water and now uh, I did this last night and as you can see um, we need to get rid of the water 
uh, so then we can handle it a bit more easily. Um, normally um, it should have settled but I'd, I'm not too sure with this type of clay um, but what I found on the website was in third world country that they use um, uh, to purify the water they leave it out in the sun and let the UVs take care of the micro microrhythm and uh, and then they use uh, salt and benacrite clay uh, as a kind of fluctuation um, so it has worked with both of them I don't know if it's m the, what happens with the benacrite is um, it sinks very rapidly and I th think it grabs onto the water molecules being very water absorbent and drags them down and uh, leaving the water up, the uh, water on the top. Uh, I'm not too sure with the salt if it has any effect but uh, this is a little experiment so in this one I'm going to leave as normal this one's just going to have salt in it this one's just going to have the the benefit clay and this one's going to have both of them I did actually do this last night but it was a little dark so um, I'll shall put a bit more in and um, give it a stir and then come back uh, tomorrow uh, where it should have done its business um, okay so it's just normal salt just put a bit in there and then with the clay, uh, it's just a bit of crack clay, it's grounded up character, uh, just sprinkle. Uh, about two teaspoons or so. Uh, and then this one, we're going to have the both. I'll put all that Maybe a bit too much clay. Um, a bit of salt in there. Um, I don't know about what two tablespoons of each. Uh, just give it a stir. Just to keep everything suspended still. I'll come back to it in a little while. Okay, um, on this one, this was I uh, left it normal, and as you can see, it's still in suspension. Nothing much changed. This one, I just added the salt, um, and there's. It's very cloudy, but if you uh, think Yeah, all the clay's gone down to the bottom there now so all that clay went down to the bottom there's not much of it and this is just the clay on its own um, yeah still in suspension there And this one had the both in, and as you can see, the water's really clear. And there's definitely a definition of see the clay at the bottom there. Um, so I'll let that settle a bit more in and come back to it. But yeah. Okay, so. Um, 
yeah, I've, I've um, yeah, I've let it settle. Um, some, some organic bits have got in there by mistake, um, so I should have covered it. But yeah, so all we do, just it's been raining, so I'll just empty this out. Let's get as much water out as possible. Okay, so uh, apart from the little bits that's clay in there, and a uh, little clay in there, but there's too little in there, and I think that's mostly been a clay in there. There's clay in there is also. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got an old bed sheet here, which I cut up in bits, just put it over a bucket pour it in there then just use a bit of rope to tie it off into like a ball and hang it from the tree uh, and then let, let it just drip dry and then um, you know for uh, under a week or so and then uh, I'll have solid ish clay okay so it's been just over a week uh, I've had a bit of rain and and uh, yeah so, uh, but they've still been, they've kept out the shade and been drying, so just come to uh, collect my clay. Um, I've opened, taken one down and opened it here. Um, it's, uh, yeah, still quite wet. So if you, you know, if you were to wanting to use this, you could put it on a plaster board and let it absorb some of the water so it become easy to handle. Um, So uh, yeah, if it was pure sunny, then it'd be better. And then these little bits, you could use, you could roll this to pick up the other bits, you know, like a, to gather the bits that stick to it. Um, but you can still see bits of grey from the um, benaclite clay that was added. Um, give it flexibility. Um, but what you could do at this stage is, um, yeah, let it. Um, Put it on a plaster board or just let it dry for a little while inside and then store it in a ice cream container or anything airtight, a sip seal bag. But what I'm going to do with this lot is uh, dry it out in the oven and then crush it up. So I've got um, dried clay for making a slip up because I, I tried that earlier with you know with, um, with using the clay just before. Um, I put it into here, but I didn't know what water content it was at. So yeah, and so I can make up a a slip using I know what's what's in there. Um, I think one to one is it? I'm, I'm not too sure. I have to check on that. But yeah, so I'm just going to take these two inside and uh, dry them out in the oven, and then crush them up. And I've got flakes of dried clay.